Welcome to Chainsys Data Migration Platform. In this video, we'll see an example of SAP ECC to SAP HANA migration. Let's log into the platform. Chainsys has over 2,000 adapters ready to use for major enterprise applications. This is a single instance. We'll start by opening the migration flow. Migration flow helps to orchestrate a complex data migration and provides a consolidated status view for the entire migration project. In this example, we're going to see data migration from SAP ECC to SAP HANA. And the functional model we have is procure to pay where we are migrating the objects from item master to purchase requisition, purchase order, goods receipt, and invoice. So migration flow supports multiple data flows. You can have a dependency between each data flow, as we've seen here. In this migration flow, each activity starts one after another since it has a functional dependency. And similarly, we can have a multiple dependency for a data flow. That is also possible. And we can have multiple groups in migration flow. For example, we have a separate group for procure to pay here, and we can add one more group in the same migration flow, which can handle migration of HRMS data. When we have multiple groups in a migration flow, they start executing at the same time, or parallel to each other. Inside the group, the data flows executed based on the dependency that has been set. It can have a defined entry criteria for each and every data flow to start. Overall, the entry criteria here is set on 75, which means a data flow will start only if the dependent data flow is completed with the 75% success ratio. On the right hand side of the screen we have our status indicators. The parameters here can be adjusted, and right now we have set green status for anything above 90%, amber for anything above 75, and red for anything below. These status indicators help us know how much of the migration has been completed. We can create a new group in data flows. And in this list, we have all of the data flows that we need. And we can drag them into the designer window. We can also add an approval process in between the data flows. So if the approval is set, the data flow will not start unless the process has been approved by the proper individuals. So this is our data flow, added to the migration flow. And once defined, the migration flow will look like this. Now we'll see how the migration flow is executed and how the results are shown. We'll go to the migration flow workbench and then go to the execution history. We'll open the execution history and this is where we can see the consolidated status of the data migration project. We can see number values for how many objects are performing at each of the zone levels. The gray bars indicate processes that have yet to start. On the left, we can see all the flows defined in the migration flow, along with the success and data ratios of each data flow. In the invoices, we see it's been marked as amber because it's at 83%. On the right, we're able to see all the data flows and the start time, and how long completion took, along with the success and data ratios. We can also see the iteration count, which means that when a data flow is read, you can reprocess or rerun it from here. And it shows us how many iterations we've done for each data flow. Here we get a summary of the data loading status. So how much data has been processed? How much has been a success? How much has failed? Here we can see that out of 33 records, 32 succeeded and one failed. Here we can see why errors happen, their classification, and ours is a validation error. This kind of information can be viewed for every data flow. If we want to rerun it, we can select the flows that have had errors using multi-select. 
It is important to note that if a data flow does not have an error, we won't be able to select it here. Once we have what we want, we can click on either Rerun or Reprocess. Reprocess refers to where extracted records are validated again against the defined lookups in the loader. And Rerun Process means we are extracting the data freshly from the source system and processing it to the target system. And remember, this is just one example of our many adapters that we have. So thank you for watching, and feel free to check out our other videos. Thank you.